and hello to all friends, Potato is with you. And today I'm going to show three very cool initial farms, and at the end, I'll show you one bonus farm, so watch it to the end. But before you start watching, be sure to subscribe to me, and click on the bell, so as not to miss new videos. The first farm will help you grow any crops absolutely automatically. Let's say potatoes, wheat, carrots and so on. It will be based on the residence. And to build it, you will need two stacks and 22 glasses, eight mushroom lights, three composters, two half blocks of any kind, two water, one chest, three funnels, two rails, four hatches, three windows, and also two loading trolleys. We take it all and start building it. For the construction of this company, you will need a territory of 23 by 11. And let's start building it. We take the glass first and put it as follows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Here we also put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we wrap it again. One, two, three, four, five. More precisely, no, oh, here we did it in vain. Here we break, but here we do one, two, three, four, and five. Then we wrap and make such a square with a hole. That's the kind of thing we end up with. Then we take the mushroom light, put it here, here, and also here, right in the middle. Then we take the glass and build up exactly the same layer. In the end, this is how we do it. Then we move to the other side of our farm, because here it will also continue. Here, you will need to retreat one block, and put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then, we wrap it up, and bring it right to the edge of our farm, that is, so that in the end, we have the following result. Then, we wrap it up again, and bring it here, so that we have one block between these two blocks here. Then again, we wrap it up, and make the same passage here, as on this side. Then, oddly enough, we take the mushroom lights, and put one, two, and three pieces here as well, and build up the second layer. And that's how we end up with it. There are two whole blocks, and in each block here, we will plow the soil, and a variety of crops will be grown here. Let's say again, potatoes, carrots, wheat, beets, and so on. Then, we go into one of these blocks and find the center. Here he is. Then, we put a semi-block here, and pour water here. Then, we put a composter on top, and a mushroom light above the compost. That's the way Sheftum is, so as not to accidentally put a mushroom light there. That's how we do it, and we do the same thing from the other side. That is, here we find the center, here it is, here we put a semi-block, here a bucket of water, here a composter, and a mushroom light on top. Well, almost the whole farm is ready. It remains only here to go to the center between these two blocks, here to break one, two, three, and four, here we put the chest. Then we take our funnels, put here once a funnel that looks at this chest, then another funnel looks at this funnel, and the next funnel at this funnel that is in the center. It should turn out that we throw it out here, and in the end, everything goes into this chest. Great, all that remains is to take any two auxiliary blocks. Let's put them here, and put two hatches here, one, two, and also on the other side, one and two. Great, we open them and break these blocks. There will be residents here. Then we take the rails, put one rail here, and another rail here as well. All that remains is for us to bring the residents here in some way. Three residents, one will be here, another here, and the third here in the center. To do this, you will need to find residents somewhere, and also let's say power rails, if these residents are quite far from this farm. You just take any auxiliary blocks, let's say you put them somewhere right here, we also make such a slide here. And here we all lead rails firm, let's say, a village of residents. Then, we wrap it up here, or rather, it is necessary to wrap the usual rails like this. That's how we have them once, twice, and now we are going to bring one of the residents here. To do this, we just take a trolley, and put the residents in it. That's how we push it. It turned out so funny, I wanted to push a trolley here to the residents, but he just came here himself, and jumped into one of these blocks. In short, this is the way you act here, it's natural to break everything in the end. You should have one resident right here, and the last third resident, you look at him as you drive him. Let's say you put a loading trolley here, drive the third resident here, and shove it into this block, well, or into the center, as you want to call it. So we shoved him here, and put a loading trolley here. There's no way he's going to get out of here that way. And by the way, we also need to put the last compote here, just to get him a profession. In the end, this is what we get. Now the last thing left is just to take any hoe, and also let's say potatoes. Yes, we are going to grow potatoes with you now. And it's easy to plant this whole thing here. Well, and that's how you can pretty cool shape yourself, let's say potatoes. And by the way, Look what this central resident is selling here. He sells emeralds for potatoes, which is pretty cool. That is, he collects potatoes, and we give him the experience of his potatoes, and buy emeralds. Well, the next farm will work very cool, if you have a previous farm or similar to it. That is, a farm of any crops. And in this farm, you will be able to automate the process of creating bone meal. For it, you will need six chests, six funnels, 
three composters, 13 hatches, and also a lot of vegetables. Let's take all of this and start building. Look, we'll need to do the following. Put one chest, two chest, and three chest so that they do not connect. Then we put funnels one, two, and three above them. Then we put composters one, two, and three over the funnel. We put funnels over the composter. One, two, three, oddly enough. And finally on top of the chests. One, two, three. This is how we got a cake and the farm will actually work if we load potatoes on top. Let's check it out now. Look here. I have loaded a supply of potatoes into each chest here and everything is already being perfectly produced here. It is loaded into the compost bin and bone meal is generated here. Here it is. Look, there are two things here, three already and so on. But for beauty, I advise you to also make hatches like this. Look, but this is how we open them and it turns out quite beautiful. We do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four and five hatch. Open them and also do it from above to make such a frame type. And in the end, what we got out of three stacks of potatoes, which is quite by the way, we have seven pieces here, six here, and also five pieces here. But you know that if you have such an automatic potato company or some other cool big company, that you will be able to fully automate the creation of bone meal and get quite a lot of it. Well, and the penultimate firm, yes, because today I'm going to show you as many as four farms. It will produce residence for you, which is very convenient. It's pretty cheap by the way. Here, you will need 12 slow, 10 of any semi-blocks, 1 of any fence, 4 beds, 4 of any hatches, 4 of any carpets, 2 residents and also carrots. Let's take all of this and start building again. Here you will need to do the following. Put the glass, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Such a column is obtained with a hole in the center. Then you take the half blocks, 1, 2, 3, and 4. As a result, we make like such a cover here. Then we take the beds, put 1 like this, 2, 3 and 4, necessarily in this way, so that in the end, you get such a donut. Then we take an oak fence, we put it right here, that is, at the level of the beds. Then we need carpets, we put them right in the corners, here, 1, 2, 3 and 4, and finally, with a lung, 1, 2, 3, 4. But no, oh, by the way, I was a little mistaken. An oak fence and or any other one should be placed at the level of these semi-blocks, that is, here. In fact, the company is ready, but for convenience, it will be necessary to make the next such platform out of half blocks. We spend six pieces, and in the end, this is how we get it. Then, it will be necessary to bring the residents here in some way. Again, this can be done with the help of trolleys. Let's show you how it's done. We just put any steps like these here. Then there are power rails. This is how we put these power rails. This is how we put the trolley here. Then, we shove a resident into this trolley. Up, and that's how we do it. Then we break down this trolley here and leave it here for the residents for now. Then we can bring another one here. We break all these blocks and wait for the night. I'm not going to wait, so I'll just write a time set, let's say 16,000. Look now, these residents will all go to bed. So once I lay down, and now the second one will jump up. Everyone has finally settled down, now we are going to break this platform here and make a day. And look what we get. When they wake up, they will appear on this fence here. Then we do what? We just take a carrot, and throw each resident a carrot. Look up, here we throw this resident, and also this resident from this side, so that he takes it, and now we look at what will happen. So we waited a little, and they began to multiply. Now, we are looking carefully at where their little breadbasket, their child, will appear. We are waiting a little bit, again we are waiting, and according to the plan, it will have to be remembered. Look at him. He pretty funny fell out of there, and this resident. All residents and children will gather here just the same. Then we can, let's say, open a hole here, and pick up who we need. This way you can even make your village. And finally, the last bonus farm. Yes, of course she is completely ordinary. It will be a cobblestone farm. But what kind? It will be really quite designer and compact. This is probably the best cobblestone company and the most compact, the most beautiful that is in Minecraft. To build it, you will need any seven hatches, any step, water, lava, one funnel, and also a chest. Let's take it all and try to combine it so that it turns out really cool. To do this, we will do the following. Let's put our hatches. Once we open the hatch, two we open the hatch, three we open, four we open, five we open, six we open, here, here, here. We break this blade of grass and also open it here. Then, we put a step on one side in the following way so that it looks from the center. Here we pour water and here we pour lava. That's how we get a fairly compact source of cobblestones already. But we can do the next one. We can also put a chest here and put a funnel under this cobblestone with the help of a shift. So let's break it down here. Up, everything. Look now, when we break this cobblestone, it will not fall out, but immediately fall into the funnel, and from the funnel into the chest. And this is the kind of thing we get. Yes, again very banal, 
but still agree, it looks pretty cool. Well, there was a potato with you, be sure to subscribe, like, write comments, and also click on the bell so as not to miss new videos.